Bat Mouse by Steve Smallman. Bat Mouse by Steve Smallman. Squeak! Look, Mom, said Pip. It's a flying mouse. That's not a mouse, said Mom. It's a bat. I wish I could fly, said Pip. When I grow up, can I be a bat? You can't be a bat, said Mom. Look, you don't have any wings. So Pip made some wings out of an old cardboard box. Soon he was ready for takeoff. Look, Mom, I'm a bat mouse. Pip rushed around, squeaking his squeakiest squeak and flapping his cardboard wings up and down. But he just couldn't fly. So he tried again, and again, and again. He flapped till he flopped, tired and dizzy on the floor. Never mind, Pip, said Mum. To cheer him up, she made his favorite meal, stinky cheese and cracker crumbs. At bedtime, Pip couldn't get comfortable. His wings kept getting caught in the blanket. That's because bats hang upside down when they sleep, said Mum. Pip tried lying upside down, but he still wasn't comfortable. The next morning, Pip climbed up to the top of Windy Hill. Time to fly, he squeaked, flapping his wings as hard as he could. Pip jumped. Bump. He landed on his bottom and rolled over and over and over all the way down the hill. Pip's head was spinning, his bottom was bruised, and his wings were all tattered and torn. Then he heard a familiar sound. Squeak! It was coming from inside a little cave. The cave was dark and spooky, but Pip tried to be brave. Hello? He squeaked. Hello, said an upside down voice. I'm Albert. Who are you? I'm P -p 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 Pip, and I'm a bat mouse. Really? asked Albert. But you seem to be the wrong way up. Oops, sorry, said Pip, and he stood on his head. Your wings look a little cardboardy, said Albert. My real wings haven't grown yet, said Pip. Ah, that explains it said Albert with a smile. Well, little bat mouse, are you hungry? Pip was very hungry. Do you have any stinky cheese? He asked. Stinky cheese, cried Albert. Bats don't eat stinky cheese. How about a nice juicy moth? Pip looked at the moth and burst into tears. I'm not a bat mouse, he blurted. I don't want to live in a spooky cave or eat moths or hang upside down, but I really, really want to fly. Then fly with me, said Albert, just this once. He picked up Pip and carried him out into the twinkly twilight sky. They soared over Windy Hill, through the treetops, and finally landed right outside of Pip's house. Well, little bat mouse, whispered Albert, do you like flying? I think so, said Pip, who felt dizzy and scared and excited all at once. Thank you, Albert. As Albert fluttered away, Pip spotted a big pile of dirt. First a nose and then two feet pushed their way above the ground. Look, Mom, Pip cried, it's a digging mouse. That's not a mouse, Pip, it's a mole, said Mom. When I grow up, can I be a mole? asked Pip. Here we go again, sighed Mom. The End <laughs>